Enough. I do not wish to speak with you, but through you. Welcome to Mojo Plays. Today, we're looking at the greatest Assassin's Creed plot twists. In my study, when I showed you the treasure, but you are not like the others. You saw through the illusion. This franchise is known for its off-the-wall plots for a reason. There will be spoilers ahead for the entire Assassin's Creed series. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Elise is a Templar, Assassin's Creed Unity. I found that on the floor of my father's room. I know, Pin. I didn't know. Neither did my father. If you did play through Rogue before Unity, you already knew that Arno's father was an assassin. But it's not immediately clear that the man who takes Arno into his home, Francois de la Serre, is a Templar. And not just any Templar, the Templar Grand Master. Arno and Elisa's secret courtship seems to abruptly end when Arno is wrongly sent to prison for de la Serre's murder, only for him to get trained up as an assassin. When they reunite, we find out not only that Elise has always known about her father's position as a Templar, but that she's a Templar herself, and was the heir to the Grand Master title. I suppose it was inevitable. You an assassin, me a Templar. You? Does that shock you? Demos, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. At the beginning of Odyssey, both Cassandra and Alexios fall from the top of Mount Teetos, a huge peak in Sparta. Not only is the fact either of them surviving this is a plot twist in and of itself, but they actually both survive. While Cassandra spends most of her childhood from then on in Kefalonia, a western Greek island, she later discovers that her brother Alexios has been taken into the cult of Cosmos. He's been raised to be their violent, brutal enforcer, Demos. Finding out that he's alive and had fallen so far, becoming a deadly foe throughout the game, was a great twist. Lucy is an assassin. Assassin's Creed 2. Get in. What's with the blood? Are you okay? Look, we have maybe 10 minutes, maybe, before they figure out what I've done. Yes, we know that ultimately, Lucy Stillman was a triple agent who'd betrayed the assassins. But we're not sure Ubisoft had thought of that when they introduced the twist that she's an assassin at the very start of Assassin's Creed 2. She was kind but quiet throughout the first game and implied to be an ally, only to reveal herself as a highly trained, no-nonsense assassin operative when she busts Desmond out of Abstergo in the sequel. It's easily one of the best openings in gaming, set up throughout the previous game, and even the revelation at the end of Brotherhood doesn't really ruin its impact. I still don't see how I fit into things. We're going to train you. Turn you into one of us. You're in a machine. Assassin's Creed. The bane of every AC fan's life is the modern day storyline. While they can be enjoyable from time to time, in general, they're messy and take you out of the fun, historical story you're actually enjoying. But back when the first game released, nobody really knew that the Animus was going to be the framing device, and that the premise wasn't just a romp through the Crusades, but a story about two main characters. Aside from a few glitchy visuals, the trailers gave none of this away. And indeed, subsequent games also haven't drawn attention to their modern day plots in the bombastic trailers. Yeah, sure. What if I told you that the human body not only housed an individual's memory, but the memories of his ancestors as well? Two endings. Assassin's Creed Three: Liberation. To date, Liberation is the only Assassin's Creed game that is, in its entirety, a fictional product of Abstergo Entertainment. Other games, like Black Flag, have you working for Abstergo to go through raw Animus data, 
while liberation is the end result of that process. As such, the game has been edited in certain places, making Aveline and the Assassins look bad as a way to spread pro-Templar propaganda through the players of Abstergo's games. Liberation dropped two twists on players. First, that Aveline decides the Assassins are wrong and that she's going to leave them. And second, that that was all a lie and the game has another true ending to show you what actually happened. Now is the time to claim our freedom. Are you with us? I am. Eve will lead us. Eve will lead us. Everybody is an assassin. Assassin's Creed 2. I am the prophet. Now give me the apple. Woman, take it from me. The audience knows that the strange organization Ezio's father was a part of was the Assassin's Brotherhood, but he himself doesn't truly realize this until close to the end of the game. His quest to hunt down his various targets, like the Pazzi conspirators and Rodrigo Borgia, is generally fueled by a desire for personal revenge rather than a belief in the creed. Then, when Ezio fights to steal the Apple of Eden from Rodrigo, his allies all appear and lend their aid. We find out that everyone, the courtesans, the thieves, and Uncle Mario has been an assassin this whole time, and Ezio is finally inducted officially into the Brotherhood. Benvenuto Ezio. You are one of us now. Come, we have much to do. Basim is Loki, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagant, and they show me her buried secrets. If you have an ear for voice actors and played the Asgard sequence early, you will have realized that Basim, the master assassin who's been guiding Sigurd the whole time, is the Isu reincarnation of Loki. But it was still a great plot twist when he follows Sigurd and Eivor into the Isu vault at the end of the game to finally get his revenge on Odin. The bigger twist, however, is that the whole situation was engineered by Basim, luring Leila Hassan to the Grey, all so he could steal the staff of Hermes from her and bring himself back to life. In the process, Leila joins Desmond Miles as a digital ghost. What if he didn't save the world? What if he walked away and let the world burn? Look at those timelines. Read them instead. I see. Minerva talks to Desmond. Assassin's Creed 2. Did this one give you chills? At the end of Assassin's Creed 2, Ezio infiltrates the Isu chamber under St. Peter's Basilica in Rome and encounters an Isu hologram the first Isu hologram we witness in the whole franchise. This one is Minerva, the Roman equivalent of Athena, and she talks to Ezio about the looming 2012 catastrophe. At least, we think she's talking to Ezio, until she turns to the camera and addresses Desmond directly. We finally got a look at the creators of the Pieces of Eden, and they were just as powerful as we've been led to believe, able to successfully predict the existence of the Animus and Desmond Miles. The rest is up to you, Desmond. What? Who is Desmond? Almu Alim is the villain, Assassin's Creed. There are rules. We are nothing if we do not abide by the Assassin's Creed. The Old Man of the Mountain, Almu Alim is the mentor of the Levantine Assassins, the one responsible for demoting Altair but guiding him back towards his true path. In assassinating his targets, however, Altair uncovers a conspiracy, and that the Assassins have been secretly fighting against the Templar Order to seize control of the Apple of Eden, using the Crusades to further this goal. Not only that, but Almu Alim goes rogue, and wants to use the power of the apple to control all the sides and put an end to the conflict, and, subsequently, all free will. Altair must then defeat Almu Alim and take over the Brotherhood himself. You have won then. Go and claim your prize. How do you like them apples? Assassin's Creed 3. All the pre-release material suggested that Assassin's Creed 3 was going to focus on Connor, a Native American protagonist who played an integral role in various key events during the American Revolution. But 
Then, players were treated to an hours-long introduction where they play as a totally different character, Atham Kenway, son of Edward Kenway, though we hadn't met him yet. We go through the motions of performing an elaborate assassination in a theater, traveling to America, making friends and allies, and fighting against the Redcoats. Then, the game drops on you that Haytham isn't an assassin. You've been playing as a Templar this whole time, establishing the powerful colonial branch of the Order. You are a Templar. May the Father of Understanding guide us. Check out these other great clips from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.